So for me in this case, it's a really fine line between free speech and art and being sane and not destroy a young generation with bullshit. Hey guys, it's a little windy, so let's continue in the car. I just went to the office of the guys that rent out that new studio space. Everything looking extremely, extremely good. I talked to the boss and, and the, the person that makes the contract. They're now changing two or three things that I wanted them to change. They told me it will be ready this week, so everything looking extremely... I'm happy. Now just to the old studio. It's a good sign that I already call it the old studio. Ready, ready, ready. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay. Studio is looking good. Nice. I, would, I would say 99%. I just don't want to jinx it until I don't have the contract. So, your desk. Yeah, already prepared. Nice. Yeah. It, it will be soon replaced by a bigger desk in a way, 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 way bigger room. Let me show you. I took a couple <coughs> more pictures and videos. It's, I mean, you've seen the room. Like, there's a second room as big as the room where my studio will be, and the second big room will be. The office then pretty much just with Leonard in there <laughs> which is ridiculous but we're growing we can communicate by walkie-talkies or something yes we want just screaming <laughs> it will be hard there is a lot of space in between yeah. probably I don't know phones Bada -boom, bada -bing, bada -bing. We are done with work and also eating a lot of those sunflower seeds. The entire studio is full and messed up. The bag is almost empty. Leonard is happy, busy, taking care of all of the sign-up releases. Are they all done? For today, yes. Okay, perfect. So I think it's time for you to go. Enjoy the rest of your free time. He's doing amazing work, but also he sometimes just needs time off. I will stay a little longer and tell you something about something that happened today in Germany. It's, it's kind of the Grammys of Germany, or? It's the yeah. closest, like it's the but biggest it's... music award show prize. So I never actually watched it, but yeah. it's, it's no, huge, no one everyone watches talks it. about it, but it's not that cool at the Grammys. No, no, it's yeah. far, far, far away from the Grammys. And it's all decided on on sales actually, which is a stupid system for an award show. But there was a lot of controversy stuff going on this year. Um, let me tell you the full story, but first, saying bye to them. Bye. 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 <laughs> and also saying bye to the seats. So let's get to that award prize. It's called um, Echo, Echo in, in German. It's it's big. It's a big deal. It's really like the Grammys for Germany. If you win one of those, that's the highest music thing you can win in Germany. It's it's a huge honor. And I think they're doing it already for 20, 30, 40 years. I don't really know, but it's there as, as long as I can think back. And this year they nominated two, two rappers, Kollega and Farid, Farid Bang. Um, let me just show you a picture of those two and I think you can now <laughs> understand what the problem is. Those two are German gangster hip-hop guys. And not saying that I don't like hip-hop, I love hip-hop, like all of my records, hip-hop, I used to DJ hip-hop, it, it's great music. And I also like some of the gangster hip-hop stuff, the US stuff is at least cool. The German version of it is just cringy and embarrassing, but there's still a lot of young people that enjoy it. But the problem was they were nominated for an album which features a lot of hate speech, a lot of speech against Jews, a lot of stuff that, that you just shouldn't say, like really bad things. And a lot of people complained about them getting nominated because why give so much public attention to people that say something that is actually so bad and against almost everyone living here in Germany. Then everyone got their prizes that night and some people made speeches and complained about it and then weeks later or actually like a couple of days later the first artist started returning their prizes. Even artists that didn't win this year that won in, in the past couple of years some of them had seven prizes they returned all seven of them so actually this award no one really thinks about talks about got 
blown up in press because everyone complained about it. And now I think it's like a month later or maybe one and a half months later, they announced they will cancel this entire award show. It will change entirely. They will probably rename it. They will restructure the program and not just let the sales decide who gets on, on onto this show. They will also have a jury nominating people, which I think is, is the right step. This should have been done from the beginning because just awarding people that make a lot of sales, you already got the, the platinum and gold records for that. So why invite them over? And it's not really exciting when you already know who's going to win. But for me personally, actually the thing that I think is way more interesting is the discussion between free speech and being able to do in art whatever you want, which is like a big part of art. You should be allowed to show, portray, discuss any kind of topic in any way you want. So for example, a comedian should be possible to make fun of, of Donald Trump, even if he's the president of the US and should get a lot of respect for that. If someone wants to, to make fun of him and, and show him in a different light to criticize his, his actions, I think that should be definitely possible. The same for writers, the same for people making music and writing lyrics. There, there shouldn't be a boundary, I think, personally. I think everything should be allowed. It depends heavily on the context, of course, and I think every artist should by themselves be able to decide if they want to provoke that much. Because at the end, those gangster hip-hop guys, they just do it to either have a cool rhyme, they do it because they truly believe in it, which I think is actually the worst, or they just do it to, to get more attention, which isn't also like the nice way. But they still do it, the kids, they, they love it. The thing is just, should this be forbidden? Should this be allowed? Should people decide themselves? I mean, in an ideal world, the, the young kids would just decide for themselves that that is just stupid shit, not listen to it and that way eliminate it. But young people are influenced really easily and especially in Germany you have um, more and more problems between the different layers in, in society. There are a lot of foreign people that just hate Jews and there are a lot of German people that hate foreigners and like everyone hates everyone somehow. It's a big huge mess, it's getting worse and worse and I think those kind of gangster battle rap kind of stuff is just influencing a young generation to, to negative actions. It even goes so far, there was a young guy in Berlin, he went out with a kippah, like the, the Jewish hat thing, and got beaten up within five minutes, which is like, it's disgusting, especially when you think about the history of Germany. I think Germany should have learned a lesson and just stopped that shit. And I have to say, it's it's less German people acting like that. It's more foreign people acting like that um, due to religion, due how their parents are raising them and, and their environment in school. And also to part to those idols they're looking up that do those battle rap kind of shit. So for me, in this case, it's a really fine line between free speech and art and being sane and not destroy a young generation with bullshit. I don't really know. I don't really know. I wish the young generation would be just able to, to cope themselves with it and know that it's bullshit, but that's obviously not the case, unfortunately. So maybe it's time to interfere, forbid this kind of stuff, maybe regulate it, or at least not give those people a platform like this award show. I think if the, the Echo, the award show, if they just didn't nominate those two guys, everything would be fine. Really weird times here in Germany and, and, and a lot of other places, to be honest. I don't want to turn this channel or this video into something about politics, because that's absolutely not what this channel is about. It's about music. So today's video is more about like free speech and and yeah going a little over that fine line of, of free speech and art definitely let me know what you think about this entire topic and for me it's now time back to or actually finally to to making music like i i actually wanted to start writing a new song i got maybe four more hours here in the studio and then just back home sleep tomorrow back here again thanks a lot for watching let's see what will happen with this award show next year I don't think it will change a lot. They just rebranded because they got so bad press in the past couple of weeks. Um, 
I don't know, it's just a publicity stunt actually. Yeah.